Pop quiz. What is the national language of Mexico? My guess, my guess is that you answered Spanish. Wrong. <laughs> uh, Mexico actually recognizes 68 national languages, 63 of which are indigenous. In today's video, a very special video uh, that was a lot of fun uh, to make and learn, uh, Hiller and I attempt to learn a little bit of Zapotec with our amigo Vicente and his family. Uh, just when we felt like we got, got the hang of, of Spanish and being able to communicate with people here in Mexico, uh, we, we spent some time in Teotitlan del Valle with Vicente and his family and we realized that we didn't understand anything that was going on in the community. Uh, a few interesting facts, there are uh, over 1.7 million people uh, in Mexico speak Nahuatl, Nahuatl, Nahuatl the, the language of the Aztecs. Uh, over 800,000 people speak just one version of, of the a Mayan language and over just under half a million people speak Zapotec. So uh, we, you know, when we talk about indigenous languages and when we talk about what language people communicate with in Mexico, uh, we are not just talking about Spanish and we're not talking about just uh, you know indigenous languages and just a few little small corners of, of Mexico. There are millions of Mexicans in Mexico uh, whose native language is not Spanish and that's just fascinating and it was truly special in this video to attempt to learn a little bit of Zapotec. Okay Vicente, our final, this is our final time here in, in uh, Teotitlan del Valle, the place of the gods. Can you teach us a little Zapotec? Can you teach me a few words? Yes. I need to learn. I just, I feel like I just got the hang of Spanish, but now hanging around you and your family and everybody in town, mm -hmm. I don't know what anything anybody's saying, so I need to learn. Okay, buenos dias is... Zaxti. 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 It's buenos dias. Zaxti. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. And how do you say like my name is uh Greg. Gregor? Na la. 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 No. Zach 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 in la tarde, in la noche, Por ejemplo, para decir hasta pronto, este, o decir hasta luego, adiós, how can you hear that so well? Mm. <laughs> Salut! Azum! <laughs> Azum! <laughs> oh. I, I read. I read. Sapo. Habitium stui. Habitium stui. Habitium stui. Luego regresamos. Or regresamos pronto. Okay. I'm gonna have to find a website for this. <laughs> I read online that. Zapotec is, it said, I don't even know exactly what this means, but it says it's a tonal language, so uh -huh. it's using uh, the difference, like the tone of your voice will, will change the meaning of, of what you're saying. I don't know. Yeah, so how did you say my name is? Nala. 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 Con, con un acento en la. Nala. Nala. Uh -huh. Wow. What else? What's another good um, thing? Um. Hmm. Can Carizato. Carizato. Where are you from? Uh, where are you from? De donde son, de donde, de donde eres. Carizato. Carizato. And I think I heard when you were talking to someone at the church, it was kind of like half Spanish, uh -huh. mm -hmm. half Zapoteco, right? Zapoteco. Because he would say, este, uh -huh. and then speak in Zapotec. 
Uh -huh. uh, it seemed like I, I like could understand, happy. like, one you know, promotion or video or uh -huh. like one or two uh -huh. words, but then it would be, then it would be something in some effect. Uh -huh. So sometimes it, are there words that, like when you're speaking to your parents or in, in the town that are kind of been integrated into, there are like Spanish words that have been integrated into the language, into mm -hmm. Zapotec? Okay. Yes. Over time. But for example, the older uh, people, uh, they don't use it. It's uh, Zapoteco. Pure. Uh -huh. Puro Zapoteco. Uh -huh. And did you learn Zapoteco in school or just with your parents? At the parents. For example, I'm, this is before I go to school, mm. uh, my first language is Zapoteco. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, so then, at home. and in, in uh, at and school you learn school, Spanish. I learn Spanish. Uh -huh. And then where did you learn English? Yes. Uh -huh. Where? Uh, here in Oaxaca. Uh huh. Here in Oaxaca. ¿Y dónde aprendiste francés? Mm. No. no. En el trabajo. Un poquito. <laughs> ¿Sí? ¿Puedes hablar francés sí. también? Uh -huh. Okay, oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero hablar francés. Merci, Merci. Merci. oui, oui, es todo. Bueno. ¿Cómo se va? ¿Cómo se va? ¿Qué se va bien? ¿Qué significa cómo se va? ¿Cómo estás? Ah, ok. Ah, ah wow. Bonjour. Four languages. Oui. Y... ¿Cuál Russian? más? ¿Qué más? Ruso. Chinese. Italiana. <laughs> oh, bueno, Italian and Spanish are fairly similar. Yeah. Ah, very, very similar. Uh, very wow. Similar. Wow. Ok, well, amigos, that is your uh, gringos Zapoteco. learn Zapoteco lesson. Four, Four languages. Four languages. Four languages. We have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. I think we have sufficiently embarrassed ourselves trying to learn another language as if as if embarrassing ourselves in Spanish wasn't enough. Uh, Vicente is uh, an amazing person, speaks, uh, what was it, four languages, English, Spanish, Zapoteco, and a little bit of uh, Francais. <laughs> in there uh, again embarrassing myself even more we had a blast in Teotitlan del Valle with Vicente and his family and uh, are extremely honored to have worked with Vicente in creating uh, these portabasos these amazing uh, Zapotec design coasters uh, if you haven't done so done so already head over to alwayscontodo.com or siempreconto.com if you prefer Spanish and uh, you can see all the products we have over there Amigos, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time. Have less, do more. Sapotec more. Bye bye.